Hey guys, uh, welcome back for another video from TDL DIY. So in uh, today's video, I guess we're going to be doing a review of uh, this handy little mini tire changer. Uh, I found it worked really good. I've used it for uh, ETV tires and uh, I got nothing but good things to say about this thing. Um, one thing that you might use, I know you don't have to, but uh, you just have a big screwdriver. Um, that really, a flathead screwdriver kind of helps. Uh, with some applications and uh, different ways you might want to use it. So, what do we got going on today? Is uh, so I bought some brand new wheels. They're uh, was it 4.10 uh, slash 3.50 uh, dash four. These are the tires I got. Brand new Princess Auto. Uh, I got them on sale for. $8 a piece and I bought two of them. So uh, I was going to put them on this uh, cart over here. So I was going to put them on that, that car right there. The problem is, is that uh, that little bar there is too short for the rim on that new tire. So what we're going to do today and what I've already done with uh, that tire right there is we're going to use the, exist the old rims which I've taken apart already. So we're going to use these rims with uh, that tire and tube. That makes sense. And I bought this uh, tire changer at Princess Auto and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but uh, it, w it wasn't a lot of money. And it's a, it's a great little thing to have. It works really good and uh, I got nothing but good things to say about it. So uh, without further ado, let's just uh, get this underway. First we're going to let the air out of the tire. Yeah, that's probably good. Throw in this. Uh, so it comes with uh, a couple nylon uh, pieces. Uh, this piece to hold the wheel on. In this case, we're not going to use it because uh, it doesn't really work that well in this application. But uh, a tire that's just a little bit bigger, it will work perfect. And then uh, this piece just to lock everything down. Okay, got a lock down. Okay, so uh, this is a nice little thing. This is a tire bead breaker. Um, what you do, a nub here. You're gonna just put it on, put your pin through it, and then you can use it to break break the bead on the tire. In this case, we don't. Uh, that we, that's not an issue, so we don't need to do that. And then uh, you got this here, nice little bar. It's good for multiple things. You got a couple. You got two different ends here um, to help feed the tire back on. Uh, this is to get a tire off. It's kind of like a screwdriver. So like I said, sometimes you might have to get a screwdriver to kind of pry up a bit um, to get this in to make it work. But uh, in this case, I did on the last one. It was pretty good, didn't need it. So uh, we just sit there, hold it steady, rotate it around, works like butter. Push our valve out. Good. And in this case, I'm able just to lift up and pry it off, but that's not always the case. There we go. Simple as that. All right, guys. So we're getting this uh, wheel put on now. It's a two-part system. We're just uh, putting the screws in, or the bolts in. Put some air in it, I'll be right back. There we go guys, it's all full of air and as good as new. Just gonna put a little cap on it and uh, we'll throw it right back on the, the wagon. So first we're gonna put our washer on. Just like that. 
Then there's a hole in this bar. We're going to slide our pin through. Just like that. Then we're going to just take our pliers and just bend it so it can't come undone. Can't slide out. Now you could just leave it with uh, one side bent, but uh, I like to do both sides sometimes. That way I know it's not going to uh, come undone accidentally. There we go. Good as new. So uh, that's that's this little this, this little guy here. Um, I'll have to double check how much I paid for it. I'll probably put it on the screen somewhere. Um, but yeah, for I think under fifty bucks, around fifty bucks. Um, this is a, it's a great little tool if you got a, a ride on lawnmowers, little ATVs, um, just anything that takes it, they'll have an air tire. This thing will save you a ton of money, guys. Uh, you don't have to take it to a shop and they'll charge you, I don't know, five, maybe on smaller wheels, five or ten bucks. I know bigger wheels, uh, it's almost 20 bucks. So, um, this will save you a ton of money. Uh, it's already saved me probably what I've paid for it. So, and, and now doing this little thing, it, it saved me a ton of money. So, uh, um, yeah, I got nothing but good things to say. I, I recommend this 100% to, to anybody. So you can get these at, uh, you can get them online, you can get them on uh, Amazon, you can get them at Harbor Freight if you're down in the States, uh, and you can get them here at Princess Auto uh, if you live in Canada. And this is where I got mine at Princess Auto, and I think it works really good. And um, if you think you're in the market for it, yeah, I did this video, it, it didn't take very long to, to get that off. Some of them you might have to fight a little bit more, but uh, you know, for what it is, it, it works really great. And uh, again, nothing but good things to say. So in this case, uh, they recommend you to bolt it down to a, a table or some type of platform. Whether if you want to, if you're handy and you want to weld a, a nice little stand for it, and you know you can do it this height. Or, or what I just did is I put use some C clamps and uh, clamped it down to my tabletop and. Bob's your uncle, man. Like, uh, it's pretty sturdy. Does what it needs to do. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's let's try and get this uh, snow blower tire. Try to get that off. And that's what I'd recommend, guys. Is take the stems out. Uh, you can't go wrong there. Bead. Now we're just going to spin this around over this side. Yep, the bead's broke. Perfect. See how quick that was. Hopefully, we can get this bad boy in here. There we go. something else that will stay put a little better. That's what happens when you put a cabinet with wheels on. Like I said guys, sometimes you have to put a little bit of force into it. A little bit of force, but she comes. Now if we flip it around, we'll get the bead broke on the other side. So I think it's stuck. There we go.
it's uh, good to go, eh? There we go, put it back on. Like I said, you might be able to just press the first part on. Put a little bit of weight into her. There we go. Almost there. There we go. It doesn't take long. You see some guys on YouTube and they'll, they'll change a tire in like five minutes or less. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just technique, guys. That's all. And. Uh, whether if you got it or not, and getting it, doing this part's pretty pretty simple too, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna give this a try again, um, and this time I had my soapy water mix, uh, and I had just a little bit of soap. I've already prepped it up. You just gotta just just spray it on. You know, no big deal. So hopefully uh, this time, as long as my uh, bench doesn't move around too much, uh, we should be able to get this going. All right, guys. So I've got it like 75% of the way. Uh, this one did take a bit of force and uh, some power, but with soapy water, it, it works pretty good. So uh, I can't complain there. Uh, as you can see, we're not quite there yet. We're probably a little more than 75%, I would say, at this point. But uh, yeah, just so you can see, we still need this, this whole lip here to be sucked in. But at this point, I know I'm gonna be able to suck it in no problem. So uh, this is the configuration I had so it wouldn't slip up. Sometimes you just gotta like, Hold it like this with your arm and hug it to your body because the tire itself is going to want to spin on the rim. So you're just going to have to hold it tight and use one arm and, and crank it. If you got two people, uh, that will uh, that could help too in some applications. But like I said, uh, it, this is very it's a very good tool. Uh, just some tires you might have some issues with, uh, and it helps when your bench doesn't move. So if uh, mine's on wheels and uh, the wheels aren't all locked. And I'm working on this bench, so you'll probably see this, uh, this bench toolbox thing uh, in another video, because I'm still working on it. But uh, yeah, it really helps if you got a nice stable area. But again, the tire itself is gonna wanna spin on the rim, even with the soapy water. So uh, just be prepared to somehow hold it down as you're cranking it over. But uh, that's it guys, I, I find it, it works really good. You know, uh, this tire I'm gonna, I fought a little bit. Well worth its weight in gold, as, as one would say. Um, yeah, that's why I keep it around. I'm not gonna sell it, because there's always gonna be an ATV tire, or there's gonna be a wagon, or there's gonna be a snowblower, or something uh, that's gonna need a tire change. And I'm not gonna go and spend X amount of money for a shop to do it. And they might not even be able to do that size of tire. So, uh, yeah, my reviews are two thumbs up. Uh, is there improvements? Probably. Um, could they have made it maybe a little different? Possibly. Does it work? 100%. And um, I'm, I like it. So uh, if you're considering uh, the mini tire changer from either Harbor Freight, some online store like Amazon, eBay, or whatever, um, or Princess Auto, um, I recommend it. If you're thinking about it, go get it. Uh, if you wanna save some money uh, to, to get it, get it on sale, and then you'll probably never regret it. Um, if you pay full price, I'm not sure what the full price of these things go for, I can't remember, but I think I paid around 50 bucks, give or take. Add it into your collection of tools. So uh, if you like this video, guys, feel free to give it a thumbs up. 
feel free to subscribe. You can always leave a comment down below of what you think uh, of this tire changer. And leave a comment down below if you have one and uh, your thoughts, uh, maybe some uh, DIY things to improve upon this or uh, just your experiences. I'd like to hear about it. And I'm sure other people would too. So uh, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget, never stop learning.